Hello guys, I thought I would share with you one of my pieces of art from start to finish, almost start to finish. First, I hope you're having an amazing day. And secondly, if you can hear that music in the background, nope, I don't have the rights to it. Sorry, I took a minute. It is hot here today, 81 degrees in February. This piece is something I'm so excited about. It is going to be a pine cone art piece, one of my paintings. These are the pine cone scales ready for my piece. And I thought that the canvas that I would use for this piece was going to be this mirror. But I changed my mind. Uh-oh, that's not going to be my canvas. Maybe for my next piece, but not this one. Now that sound you heard, that is my vase with my paint brushes. And this is the canvas that is going to be my next piece. This is going to be, oh, circles. It's going to be, I hope something that's gonna be colorful and beautiful. Something that will be happy. It's gonna be an abstract sort of painting. And each circle is gonna be filled with scones. I mean scales, pine cone scales. I don't know why I keep saying scones. Pine cone scales. You know what they say. People hate to watch uh, paint dry. So I didn't want to have a lot of painting for you to deal with. Let me get started. I already began painting the background. And this is what I'm using. That's the paint that I'm using. This is the color on top. And this is a deco art paint. It is glorious gold. And it's a metallic. And that's, that's what I'm gonna paint the background with. And I didn't want the background to be smooth. I wanted the background to have texture because each circle is going to be pine cone scales and then I'm going to paint the scales. The colors are going to be solid. I'm going to have this, again, deco art paint. And this is simply silver. And that's it on the top. And then I'm going to have this. I am in love with this paint. This is a Rust-Oleum paint. It's a metallic, metallic accents. I got this paint, I believe from the Home Depot, I'm not certain. I think Home Depot and Lowe's sell it. And it has another shade that's a bit darker that I painted one of the walls in my bedroom, that accent color. They are beautiful. And right now, for some reason, I'm into metallics. So, I thought I would share with you from start to finish one of my pieces of art. So tonight, or today, depending on when you're gonna watch this video, I'm going to be painting the background. I am still amazed at how the Lord has blessed me with this pine cone art. I'm finding it absolutely fascinating. And I'm enjoying it. Now, I use my 
cup that I keep my water in to create my circles. Let me see, I'm off of the, there we go. To create my circles and I'll give you the size of this canvas. I went to college, actually twice. I attended the University of Georgia in Athens, Georgia, briefly. And my business degree, I got from a Howard University, a program that they had, and I attended Howard. Go Bison in Washington, D.C. And it's amazing. I lived briefly with my grandmother, let me turn my camera, in Birmingham, Alabama. My grandmother was one of the kind. She was an amazing, strong uh, black woman during a time where she really needed to be. And I just knew when I moved with my grandmother, I would go to art school. She did all she could to get me in art school. I attended a vocational high school that had art, all phases of art. So I moved with my grandmother so I could attend those classes. Would you know, the day that I went to register, they filled the classes that same day prior to my getting registered and I couldn't take art classes of any type. Instead, my, mom, my grandmother was a teacher and she knew the principal of the the um, school and he said I'll put you in a business class and as soon as the art classes open again you'll be among the first and I said oh wow I don't want to go to business he said you'll need that in the, the future okay I enrolled and guess what Restaurant Ownership and Management. No, not something that I wanted. But once again, the Lord was in control and I went through that and it was okay, but it wasn't art. Amazing how the Lord chose to allow me to be an artist now as a senior citizen. And the medium that he's given me is pine cones. Now let me raise this up. I always go all the way on the ends of my pieces because I don't frame my pieces the sides need to be completed because they're going to be exposed this gold paint is metallic but it's not a brilliant metallic. It is metallic. But it doesn't glow quite as much as another uh, paint that they have, another gold color. And I didn't want it to, let me see, I hope you're able to see the end, because I'm gonna have other metallic paints.
There we go. That's completed. I'm getting accustomed to these extremely warm temperatures here. At home, we have summer, winter, spring, <laughs> and fall. And I love each one of them. Here, you have a day of or two of summer and a day or two <laughs> of winter and it's supposed to be February there we go I don't know what they teach you, but you have to make certain that your canvas is covered. And sometimes when you're painting, I got some on my desk, sometimes when you're painting, the canvas isn't covered. I'm kind of picky about my dish, everybody. Because I just cleaned it. And usually my desk is crowded and cluttered. So I'm trying to do better this year. Trying to clean house this year, I guess you would say. I'm rolling my brush as I'm applying the paint to give it a little bit, as I said, of texture. There it is. I'm rolling the camera. There you go. You can see it now. Return. There we go. Okay, I got that done. Enjoying this metallic, as you can see, the old bird also has her nails done in a gold metallic. This is the cup. I'm gonna wash my brush. Okay. Now I'm gonna paint each one of these circles. shake it up. You have to mix your paints well, especially these metallic paints. Okay, here we go. I'm so glad that I am able to get my paint. Now this, I'm not trying to really do a lot of coverage. What I'm trying to do is give myself a guide for my 
pine cone scales because each circle is going to be covered with pine cone scales. Since I started using pine cones and the scales in my artwork, I found that there are people that sell them and I didn't know. And they are expensive. And I can see why. Because you have to cut them off of the pine cones and you cut your hands, you scrape your hands. They have these really, really sharp tips. In the comments, let me know. Do you have pine cones in your area? And if so, what type? If you know. Tell me the sizes. We have medium-sized pine cones. When I got married, my mother-in-law used pine cones to start fires in her fireplace. And she had a friend that had a pine tree that had great big, huge pine cones. Huge to me. Not regular sized, you know. And it would break my heart every time she would throw them in the <laughs> fireplace to start the fire. Okay, now look. That's the way this one looks. And it's thick. It's thicker than um, most acrylic paints. This one is. But it goes on very smooth. And on my wall in my master bedroom, I have, I think, three coats of it. There we go. It's smooth. It goes on like, um, I don't know, but it's real smooth. I almost said like butter, but it's not like butter. I recently purchased a pine cone called a, oh, uh, the pine cone tree is called sugar pine cone trees. And the sugar pine cones are huge. And for what I paid for one, I would never be using it in my pine cone art pieces. Right now, <clears throat> I'm trying to use only South Carolina pine cones. I'm going to turn my camera just slightly. And let's see. I think this one. My next... Um, work will either be that mirror as my canvas or a very large canvas. Next week, one of my pieces will be installed and on display at the store in our little town. And the name of that store is The Market on Main. 
I'm so excited. The old bird is gonna dress up and go and take pictures and it's gonna be a big, huge event. At least for me, by God's grace. There we go. And I think the very last one, let me turn my camera so you can see it, will be this. Now, this seems like it's taking a long time. And I said I would only video for maybe 25 minutes max. This is brief compared to adding the scales. And I thought that maybe you li might like to see a piece from start to finish. So there we go. Okay, I'm going to go back to the silver. And this one is going to be silver. When I come back on, You'll see me add the bronze color. I have a bronze. I think I'm going to add a bronze. And then we'll add the scone, uh, scales. I don't know why I want to say scones. And you know, I've never eaten a scone. There you go. There you go. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed seeing the, the start of this piece. And I hope you'll enjoy seeing me complete it. And please, again, talk to me. Leave your comments. Tell me what you think. Have a blessed day. And remember, for the best, it's just gotta be handmade.